Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World, and welcome to a very, very special must-have, because we're going to talk about a must-have in Save the World, and also a must-have on my channel and streams but first i want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys being here thank you for watching thank you for being here thank you for supporting thank you for using my creator code duj2 whether you're buying something in br or if you're buying some llamas here in save the world thank you very much or if you're buying something from the summer sale the summer sale is active right now on epic games store i recommend you go check it out i have a video all about it too uh you guys i mean i'll make a pop-up over there Actually, I may, might make it mine. It's going to go over there. Uh, go check it out, guys. Uh, definitely, there's some really great sales there. So let's jump into this, guys. And this is going to be a two-part must-have. In the first part, we're going to talk about something to save the world. And in the second part, we're going to talk about Pygmus. Yes, Pygmus is coming. It's happening this Friday, July 31st. If you want to be a part of it, if you want to be in the stream, if you want to enter the giveaways, uh, there's a bunch of stuff that I'm going to be giving away. We're going to be giving away merch. We're going to give, be giving away um, uh, Fortnite uh, V-Buck gift cards. Let me see if I can have someone here. Yep, I have, still have some right here. So I'm going to be giving away some of these right here. Uh, we're also going to be giving away a Fortnite uh, pack thingy. Uh, also, we're going to be giving away something really awesome, which is going to be this thing right here. Uh, I will say this right now. The burr is not included, but we're going to be giving away a brand new Xbox One X with the Jedi game. So if you want to hear all about that information, stick around to the end of the video and I will explain it all. So what are we going to talk about right now? Must have for save the world. Well, even though ventures are now here and you know what? Little sneak peek. I'm get. I guarantee you that probably this week, or maybe for the must-have for you know the must-have this week, the next coming week, it's probably going to be him right there. Dennis is made for this. Dennis is designed for ventures. Uh, so you're definitely going to want him, and maybe even run him as a commander. Currently, right now, uh, I'm running a couple of different setups. Um, I'll show you guys real quick. This is currently the setup I'm running. It's been very very fun. There's a lot of really fun stuff in the game. It, it, there is. There definitely, definitely is a lot of fun stuff that you can do in ventures, but I have also my opinions, both good and bad, um, you know, positive and negative, and I will be talking all about that very, very soon. But in this video, in this video, we're going to talk about one thing, about one person, and that is Paleo Luna. Now, I've talked about Paleo Luna in the past. I've done videos about her in the past. She's actually even been in the must-haves before, but in the previous must-have videos, she wasn't really updated how I'm using her right now. And also, we didn't have mythic weapons back then. Uh, also, we didn't have we didn't have a lot of stuff back then. So Paleo Luna is most definitely a must-have right now. Right now, we don't know when this event is going to end. We don't know when the event items are going to switch over. We don't know when this is going to, all these are going to go away. It seems like this one is very heavy on the heroes, on the dino heroes. And I don't really think we have any other dino heroes left before these go away. Let me check really quickly because now that I think about it, I really don't think we have any Dino Heroes that haven't shown up. Rex Jonesy already showed up. Isa showed up. Yeah, all of them. We have every single of these uh, heroes has shown up. So there isn't any other previous Dino Heroes to see. There may be some new ones. I don't know. I don't know. But must have, must absolutely have is Paleo Luna. If you don't have her and right now you can build, you can almost build the setup that I'm running. Let me show you that setup real quick because that's the most important thing. Let me show you this setup that I run. And this setup is right here. Disregard this dude, that's not him. So this is my Immortal Luna setup. Paleo Luna is the key to it because, well, there's two parts to it, both her and the weapon she uses. So Paleo Luna is right up there with Saurian Claws, which add 9% of current health to melee weapon damage. Now we're going to be using Blast from the past, so we don't have any of that defense any shield removes all shield and increases max health by two hundred thousand percent requiring two dino heroes i currently use uh isa for uh is it isa? i think it's isa yeah yeah prehistoric isa i currently use her which she has saurian hide while she was depleted increased armor by 33 percent and i'm also using saurian focus now I don't know if I'm going to be changing this. I honestly don't know if this is something I'm going to be changing in the near future, because if I have to be honest, uh, the only one that I kind of tried a little bit with her, with them was 
uh, Triceratops. Jurassic can um, didn't really use him either. He's got Soaring Fight. We'll see the depleting ability damage for 20%. We didn't really try him in this setup because honestly, he doesn't work very well right now. Hopefully, he gets fixed soon. And of course, we've got uh, Prehistoric, well, Prehistoric Isa here, but we have uh, Ankylo Kyle. And who's the other one? We have Ankylo Kyle. And well, Rex Jonesy doesn't work there. And I guess that's it. I guess Ankylo Kyle is the only one that I haven't really tried there. Uh, but he's going to go for Kinetic Overload. So he's not going to help in any way there too. So pretty much this is my setup. It's not going to change much. This is the loadout that I use for Pale Luna, which makes her, and I'm sure some of you have seen it. You probably have seen me use this loadout whenever I do an SSD, whenever I have a lot of enemies that I need to encounter in battle, especially if they don't have any, uh, if they don't have any, um, what's it called? The acid, acid pools. Acid pools will really mess up this setup. But apart from that, nothing else will really make it, phase it at all. I'm throwing there, sorry and hide, sorry and focus, like I said, because I do want like using a lot of the heavy attacks. Battle beat, of course, goes in there because battle beat goes into a lot of my setups. Uh, eliminating 10 enemies in nine seconds, grants rocking riff. And I gotta tell you, eliminating 10 enemies in nine seconds is not a problem. Usually I can do those 10 enemies in like one or two seconds. It increases damage by 50% and melee attack speed by 32% decaying over eight seconds. It's perfect for this setup. Then we go to what makes this setup actually immortal in that sense. And we got Monster Smash and Survivalist. Now for the longest time, I didn't have Monster Smash in here. I used something else. Uh, Survivalist, of course, you guys know is a must have in practically every single one of my setups. Eliminations heal you for 39 base health over three seconds. Duration refreshes with additional eliminations. So. You constantly get kills, you constantly get that base health renewed. And Monster Smash is what keeps me from dying. Increases life leech with melee attacks and going constructor by up to 15% based on the percentage of your missing health. So if you're missing a lot of your health, if you are in, you know, in the risks of dying, this is going to heal you back up again. But look at very carefully what it says there. Increases life leech with melee attacks and going constructor for up to 15% base. So life leech Mali. that's the key so this is going to be the second part of this setup is what do i use what is the key weapon to use with this setup and that is going to be the masamune the masamune and how i have it built i have a triple attack speed with life leech if you are going to make this setup work of course you're going to need the you're going to need melee weapons with life leech now currently right now i have uh well i did have this one before the sprite core one i had put uh, a life leech on it and removed an attack speed it kind of hurt me a little bit though because it does it does hurt it uh, it does hurt it quite a bit actually i really wish that this damage right here i could just change it i wish i could change this damage right here and put life leech on here unfortunately i can't so i have to whenever i do this i take off one of these and i put life leech on it uh it kind of balances itself out this weapon right now is super fast but it's not going to benefit me in this case it just won't so this storm king sphere i have this one is my crit one with attack speed it's still pretty fast. It's not bad at all. This one, because it's bright core and it has double attack speed is even better, but I got to just go ahead and switch this one off or I got to make a third one. <laughs> I may just make a third one. I may just make a third one guys and have one that is going to be for bright core and for life leech. But you know what? Before I forget, actually, I'm going to go ahead and do this right now because I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting and I'm like, oh man, I keep forgetting. Uh, I don't want to do this though. I, I really don't want to do this because I really, you know what? I'm gonna make a third one. I'm just gonna make a third one with Life Leech. And then the other weapon that I use is also the Storm King's Ravager. Storm King's Ravager, uh, I have one here with triple attack speed, which is the Bright Core one, and I have a Sunbeam one with Life Leech and attack speed. What I need to do is actually is switch these two. I need to make this one with triple attack speed for the Sunbeam because it needs this, it's an, it needs it. And this one right here needs to have uh, double attack speed and, well, why does this one have damage to miss monster and bosses? Interesting, huh? I find that very interesting, actually. Uh, so this one needs to have the triple attack speed and this one needs to have double attack speed with life leech because I really do prefer the bright core ones. You guys know making a bright core is going to give that a little bit of push, which actually this I am going to change right now while I remember because uh, you guys know how I am. You guys know how I am. So we're going to change this one to life leech. Uh, this one I have. I'm very, very curious as to why I have this one to regular damage. I guess just in general, um, we're just going to keep it. I guess we're just keep it regular damage. 
Uh, and then this one. Uh oh. Yes, okay, we fixed the right one. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I fixed the wrong one. And this one, we're gonna go ahead and just change it to attack speed. Oh no, no, no! Mm. Okay, you guys didn't see that. You guys did not just see that. What did I just. Oh no, they're both. Oh! What did I do? Okay, so. Oh, so doing that actually. <laughs> doing that actually messy. All right, you know what? I'm going to leave them both life leech. I'm going to be leaving both life leech uh, because whenever I use them anyway, I'm going to use them with uh, with Paleluna because that's the key, guys. That life leech right there is the key because Paleluna is going to give you that speed. The whole point of this loadout with Paleluna is to have very high speed, very high damage right there, the 9%, very high damage with your weapons melee weapons and you're going to be able to restore the health which is going to just keep you it's going to keep you nice and healthy it's going to keep you hitting very hard it's going to be wonderful now what if you don't have the masamune or the mythic weapons well there's some other really good weapons if you don't have a storm king's ravager i highly recommend that you work on a spectral blade as you guys see here i have a bright core and a sunbeam one as well highly recommend you work on a spectral blade it's going to be very very good it's going to be very fast if you want the fastest weapon in the game you're probably going to go with a Bright Gorge Stab Wars the third. It has very high speed. You guys can see I have one there. And then you've got a couple of elemental weapons as well. You're gonna have the Vindotech Slicer for energy. You're gonna have also the Stormblade for energy, but I recommend the Vindotech Slicer over the Stormblade. You're gonna have the Vacuum Tube Sword for, um, for uh, nature. And you're going to have one more weapon. Oh, yeah. So it's actually the Spectral Blade. If I remember correctly, you can also change it yeah you can change it to water as well so having a water or a physical one uh, per personally for me or an electric one in that case is going to be really good, good but anyway there we go i'm gonna leave it there guys uh i love this i could be talking about this all day long because it is wonderful this actually this mic drop is actually really fun too uh if you're looking for an interesting weapon that build is actually really fun but anyway that is the key to the Paley Luna Immortal Luna setup. You got to have a Luna. You got to have this setup. You got to have a really fast melee weapon that's going to have life leech on it. And you're just going to have a lot of fun with the game. So I'm going to leave it there, guys, for this. Thank you very much, guys. I, I love Luna. I love that's why she's number one in my book. She's absolutely amazing. And definitely, if you don't have her yet, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go ahead and pick her up. I'm going to be getting her as well, too. So let's wrap it up, guys. Let's wrap this video up by talking about um, we're going to talk a little about pigments. So for those of you who don't know what that is, if you come to my streams, I have a point system that you can gain these points just by watching. That's all you got to do. You just got to watch. You're going to gain these point systems and you can get yourself coinks. Coinks is kind of like a, it's just uh, it's an it's a currency that we use in the stream that you get by walking like I, by watching, like I said. And then if you save up enough coinks, you can get yourself a golden coin. Golden coinks are the special things. You can need golden coins to enter raffles. And like I said, this Friday, we're gonna be giving away a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna be giving away uh, the V-Buck gift cards. We're gonna be giving away another gift card to a yet to be known uh, place. It might be a Steam, it might be a Target gift card. It might be, I don't know, a Best Buy gift card. Uh, whatever it is, there's gonna be a gift card that's gonna be given away. That's been sponsored by a viewer as well. TF, thank you very much for that. Uh, we're gonna be giving away some merch stuff and a bunch of other stuff that I have planned and lined up. Also, huge thanks to my sponsors. We have several sponsors of the channel now. Now. Uh, we've got Skillshare, we've got Ridge Wallet, and we have a brand new one, which I guess I'm announcing a little bit right now, which is GT Racing. Uh, GT Racing is a chair company. No, I don't have one yet. Uh, I actually, there's a box in my living room that I got to put together. There's going to be an unboxing video coming soon. Uh, so huge thanks to them. If you guys want to find links to all of them, there'll be links down below in the description. And thanks to them also for making possible this because we are going to be doing a lot of really cool things. And a huge thanks to also one of the one of the grand prizes that you're going to definitely need a golden coin to enter is going to be like I showed at the beginning of the video. This Xbox One X. Now, this one is, is, is being sponsored by Miss Mew Mew. No, the burr is not included. <laughs> you cannot get the burr. <laughs> That's just Dan Bear. He's showing it off. Uh, so huge thanks to her. She's going to be sponsoring that giveaway. It's a brand new Xbox One X. Uh, whoever wins, if you, and for all these prizes here, if it's something physical that I have to mail or needs to be mailed, if you are not in the continental US, uh, then you need to uh, also, we'll talk and we'll 
figure out something for shipping because anywhere in the US, I will most definitely send it. I will pay for the shipping anywhere it goes. But for example, even sending something to like Canada, Canada customs can be kind of tricky. And sometimes it will cost a lot to get something out of customs. And especially if we send it to other parts of the world, but that's not a problem. We've actually sent things all over the world in the past. We've done giveaways before. Uh, for example, someone one time won um, PS4, the gold PS4, and we sent that one to Sweden. And it took a little while. And again, I put down whatever I would have put down for shipping here in the US for something like that. And then the person who won, they uh, they paid the difference. They just paid the difference in shipping. And that's all it took. It took a few weeks for him to get it, but they got it and they've been playing on it ever since. So whenever we give away something big like that, yes, we are more than happy. You know, I'm more than happy to pay for part of the shipping. But for, you know, specific uh, customs fees and specific fees like that, for shipping fees, I definitely do talk to the person and they have to, you know, meet me halfway to pay for some of the shipping. But we can talk more about that when and if you win something. So if you would like to know more information, come to a stream. There's streams almost every single day. And at the time of me making this video, uh, it's uh, only a few days. It's only a few days until oh it's only a few days man until we have pigments so i hope you guys can come i hope you guys will be participating thank you very much guys thank you very much for being here i really appreciate you all definitely come to stream get your golden tickets thanks a lot i'll see you guys in the next one if you guys enjoy this video if you enjoy what i do on my channel please do me a huge favor and have yourself a fantastic day thank you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya